Apple has a religion. Researchers find a way to speed up your CPU, and Google has a wallet? Continue watching to find out. Have you ever seen those people that go out and buy every new Apple product that Apple releases? Well, neuroscientists have researched brain patterns comparing this to that of religion. BBC's Alex Riley took under some tests. He was a lab rat in that his brain scan of MRIs. This showed that the same area in the brain triggered when he thought about Apple products was the same area triggered when somebody with strong faith or showed pictures of their faith. Coincidentally, Apple stores in the UK also have a church-like front to them, making them even more of a religious entity. Compared to the U.S., you will find really nothing religious about their stores. You might think this is a bunch of baloney, but it seems as though you can be attached to a certain brand as you can be attached to a sliding in the more science. Researchers at NC State have developed a way to increase your multi-core CPU performance by up to 40%. The method they have developed is called prefection compared to what we now use well, we now use bottlenecks our performance on our CPUs, having to resort back to RAM as much slower memory relatively to the cache on your CPU. The more cores you add to your CPU, the more bottlenecks you will see. To counter this bottleneck, you use the prefection to predict what data will be used, so to decrease the bottleneck. The issue with this, and guessing wrong on what the CPU wants in the memory, can hurt performance. What they've done to fix this is to create a better algorithm to divvy up bandwidth and allowing the CPU to selectively, selectively turn off prefection as to so it won't hurt. Hopefully this will be in our next CPUs and keep Moore's Law alive. Prefection is not the only thing that's going to speed up performance in your life. Google has dubbed its next new project Google Wallet to help speed up the way you spend your all this really is, is as new Android phones come out, they will include a special chip inside that you can, you can wipe across a receiver in your retail store that will act just like a credit card. Instead of having like 500 different type of plastic cards in your wallet, you would instead will have just your phone and have all different types programmed into the chip built into your phone. Many people don't like Google's security and say they steal your information, but I on, their I, on the other hand, disagree. I find Google to be one of the safest data centers probably in the world. They have, I've never heard of anyone maybe next to China hacking Google before, but I, I feel my data is very safe at Google. I probably have almost, I just, I've lost count how many Google services I use. It's, I, I even have like my bank account tied with Google right now, so I have no fear of any of my information getting used. Maybe next to statistics, but I really don't care if somebody uses. Oh, I watched ten videos today. I I really don't care if somebody uses that for if Google uses that to make money off of me. I I really don't care. But I just that's the way of the future, and it just helps reduce just. You might not one day, you might never need a wallet. It, you might just hardly, if ever, you need cash. You just hold your phone, boom. You just it's like a debit card. If you don't like, if you happen to lose your, um, somebody steals your phone, you lose your phone. There's four security features. You first have your lock that could be on your phone. If you don't have a lock, well, you don't have that security feature, but then you have a pin code, like on a debit card, you have to type in. You have to type in a pin code before you can even access the credit card on your phone. And once you type that in, you can use it. But just like any credit card, if your credit card gets stolen, your credit card number gets used, you can just call your bank and cancel your credit card. Not only can you have one credit card, you can actually have multiple credit cards stored on your phone and just use whatever you like. Just make sure you choose the right one when you go to checkout or you could screw 
Right now, this technology can only be used if you own the Nexus S by Google. The only places you can use this are New York and San Francisco right now, and Google's only partnered as for right now at Citigroup, MasterCard, and Sprint. But I wouldn't doubt anytime soon, maybe as, probably as early as next year, there will be more if this picks up, which it, I'm sure it will. And every Android phone from there on will have this built in, and it will pick up just as Android did. Whether or not Apple chooses to put this in, I'm sure it will because I'm sure just like the credit card or just Android in general, this will pick up pretty fast and you will see a lot, maybe not old, the older generation using this, but the younger generation as myself will probably just use this as it was normal, as it was, as we were just made to just put our phone and there's your payment instead of having to carry around in your wallet, open up your wallet and deal with taking stuff out and putting receipts and probably it will even give you a digital receipt so you don't even need to take the receipt if you don't want to so look forward for that in the future just a reminder I probably won't get my help video done today as I don't have a lot of time tonight but tom tomorrow on Saturday I should be able to answer any question just if you post questions in this comment or on my channel remember I'm my moderator form to post questions I'll, I want to answer your questions just I'll make a quick video if I possible or if you have free software you recommend I will download that software learn how to use it and see if I can't make a video on explaining how, how to use it better if I if that's possible for me some software the more advanced stuff may gimp that's not very hard, easy to learn just overnight so just soft help with or pr different products I could help with that you might need or a different setup tutorials also remember I have my Facebook page and a, my Twitter account you could link to down below make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed I pr appreciate if you thumbs up the video and thanks for watching.